So today this kind of looks like a science experiment, but I'm gonna be painting my calipers on my Model Y. Now my car is green with some red calipers because it's a performance Model Y. And red and green go good most of the, well, I guess one month of the year, but the rest of the time is kind of weird. So I'm gonna be painting my calipers to match. <laughs> I'm gonna be painting the calipers to match my car. Now they don't make a green to match that. So I got some yellow and blue, that'll make green. But then I also have some black and I have some white to kind of change the color, change the, the the brightness, I guess, of the green that I'm gonna be making here. And I don't really, I've never done this before, so I'm gonna, just gonna mix these up a little bit. And then I also have this sprayer. Uh, basically, you just fill this up with paint and it is an aerosol can on top and then I can paint the calipers. I have two of these. That's the plan. That's what I was afraid of. This, I think this is a little thick to go through that filter. I'm gonna get some brushes and we're gonna brush this on. It'll still look amazing. Let's get to mixing. Let's see how close we can get to the green. So this is caliper paint and it's, it's a high temperature paint. You can get this on Amazon. It's really not that expensive. These little bottles are only like $16 and if they have the right color that you want, say you want to your wheels to look like the, or you want the calipers to look like performance calipers, you can get red. And I've done red before on my cars and it works really great. You just use a paintbrush and you brush on, let's take it a while, you brush on the two coats onto the calipers and it comes out really good. This is an enamel white, but the rest are uh, the caliper paint. Caliper paint is a high temperature paint. Enamel paint is kind of, but it's not fully high temperature, but in a Tesla, your brakes don't really get that hot. So I think we'll be okay with putting a little bit of white into this. And also grabbed a sample of the color of my car so I, ooh. So I can get close, dip it on there, and uh, go from there. I brushed on, you can see, I don't know if you can see, I did four calipers or two coats with this, and I, there's so much there. Uh, and we're gonna get messy today. All right, let me pour it in here, that way I can dip it in better. So we're gonna need quite a bit, actually. So that's not green enough. Let's do some more blue. Because it definitely is more yellow. Well, let's just go for it. What's the worst that happens? I buy more yellow. But it's not close to that. So let me get a bigger container because we're going to overflow this. We got a bigger, uh, bigger cup here. Let's just dump it all in. I'm not sure if uh, wife's going to be mad at me for this bowl. Oops. Oh man, it's, it's taking a lot of this blue. Oop. Oh yeah, let's just do that. Let's just go all in. All right, that is so perfect. That came out amazing. This color is identical to that. Oh, this is gonna look so awesome. Now we just need to fill up these jugs. All right. This is gonna be cool. Next step, painting the car. All right, painting the calipers. So it looks like there's a whole mess here, but we're ready to spray. And what I've done here is I've taken off the rotor. It's sitting right over there, the brake rotor, and kept the caliper on. So I've and taken the brake pads out. Masked off everywhere that I don't want the paint, and we're going to paint this. Once the rotor, I don't have to get really good inside there, but you don't want to get paint on the the pistons that come out, there's rubber gaskets there, you can affect those. So everything is taped off. We're gonna see if it sprays. Still gotta lay some blankets down on the ground so I don't get uh, green paint everywhere. Back here, everything's masked off. Um, I'm, again, putting stuff on the floor, but got tape inside here so I don't get overspray inside there. And this is going to look amazing. It's actually gonna look like this. I'm super excited. And then, not, then I'll have to print out some new Tesla letters here. And uh, same thing for the front and it'll be all ready to go. Hopefully this works really well. I've never done this. First, I got some detailed brushes. 
What do you think about that match? That looked really good. Now these are still wet. I gotta let them dry. This is the first coat. I've done all four of them and then it'll bake overnight really. So I'm going to do two coats today. Probably gonna wait about an hour for the next coat and then take off all the masking since I don't need all the masking anymore. That way I can see a little bit better if anything is missing and then in that meantime, I'm going to cut out the Tesla logos as well. Then put everything back together. Put the brakes back on, put the spacers back on, put the wheels back on, and uh, be done. Drive it around. Let it all cure. I love how this turned out. So, the red will be covered up by the brake caliper, or by the brake rotor once I put that back on. But I love the Tesla logo that I put there. Made that and cut that out. It's subtle, but you notice it. Can't wait to get the brakes back on or the rotors back on, put the wheels on. Now the brakes actually match the color of the car. They look so amazing and I'm um, super pumped how good these came out. Unfortunately, they, I could not spray them, but they look amazing and they're gonna look even better with my new wheels.